Did you know that humble walnuts are packed with more disease-fighting antioxidants than any other common nut? Recent studies have shown that the antioxidants in walnuts combat oxidative stress caused by LDL, bad, cholesterol. Despite their impressive nutrient profile and healthy fats, walnuts can pose serious concerns for some individuals with specific health conditions. Research indicates that walnuts are the second most common cause of tree nut allergies, affecting over 3.9 million Americans. For those with such allergies, even trace amounts of walnut residue can trigger life-threatening anaphylactic reactions. But allergies aren't the only reason to be cautious about walnuts. Digestive issues, potential interactions with certain medications, and weight management concerns are other important factors that may lead some people to limit or avoid walnuts altogether. In this video, we will explore five key health risks associated with walnuts, identify who should exercise caution, and provide tips on managing any potential adverse effects. 5. People dealing with tree nut allergies. If you have a tree nut allergy, even a small amount of walnuts can be extremely dangerous and potentially trigger a life-threatening reaction. But why are tree nut allergies so serious, and why are walnuts particularly risky for those affected? A tree nut allergy is one of the most common and severe food allergies. It occurs when the immune system mistakenly identifies certain proteins in tree nuts as harmful and responds by releasing antibodies. This can lead to symptoms ranging from mild issues like hives and stomach cramps to severe, life-threatening reactions such as anaphylaxis. During anaphylaxis, the immune system releases a surge of chemicals that can cause the body to go into shock, resulting in a sudden drop in blood pressure and constriction of the airways, which blocks breathing. Tree nut allergies are alarmingly prevalent, affecting approximately 3.9 million people in the U.S., and this number is rising, according to Food Allergy Research and Education, FAIR. For those with confirmed walnut or tree nut allergies, it is crucial to eliminate all nut products from their diet entirely. Even a single walnut or its minute traces can trigger a serious reaction in highly sensitive individuals. The severity of an allergic response can vary from one exposure to the next and may change over time. To stay safe, it's essential to read ingredient labels carefully while shopping. The FDA mandates that manufacturers list walnut ingredients, but cross-contamination from shared processing equipment is also a significant concern. Terms like, may contain, processed in a facility with tree nuts, or, manufactured on shared equipment, signal a high risk of walnut residue. For those with nut allergies, avoiding walnuts is not only vital to prevent allergic reactions but also crucial for managing other serious health issues. 4. People dealing with kidney stone risk. If you've ever experienced the intense pain of passing a kidney stone, you know just how excruciating it can be. For those prone to kidney stones, monitoring walnut consumption is particularly important, as they contain oxalates, which can contribute to stone formation. According to Colorado State University, oxalates are natural compounds found in various plant-based foods, including nuts, spinach, wheat bran, berries, and beans. While moderate amounts of oxalates are manageable within a balanced diet, excessive levels can combine with calcium to form solid crystals or stones in the kidneys. Walnuts are notably high in oxalates compared to other nuts. A single ounce of walnuts contains around 30 mg of oxalates, which is more than half of the recommended daily limit of 40 to 50 mg for those at increased risk of kidney stones. As a result, the National Kidney Foundation advises individuals with a personal or family history of calcium oxalate kidney stones to reduce their intake of high oxalate foods like walnuts. Symptoms that might indicate oxalate issues include pelvic or urinary discomfort, frequent urinary tract infections, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, joint pain, and fatigue. For those susceptible to kidney stones, staying well hydrated and limiting foods high in oxalates, such as walnuts, is considered an effective preventive measure. However, there are additional factors to consider before consuming these nuts, depending on individual health circumstances. 3. Digestive Conditions while walnuts are praised for their fiber and healthy fats, 
they may be detrimental for individuals with certain digestive disorders such as diverticulitis or inflammatory bowel syndrome IBS. The high fiber and fat content in walnuts can potentially aggravate symptoms and trigger flare-ups. Starting with diverticulitis, a condition characterized by small pouches forming in the colon wall that become inflamed or infected, the prevalence of diverticulitis increases with age, affecting over 50% of individuals over 60 in the United States and Western countries. During active diverticulitis, doctors often recommend avoiding nuts, seeds, and foods high in insoluble fiber, such as the outer shell of walnuts. The coarse, abrasive particles in walnuts can become trapped in the diverticula, exacerbating irritation and inflammation. For those with chronic or recurrent diverticulitis, it's generally advisable to avoid high-fiber foods, including walnuts, until symptoms subside and the colon heals. Walnuts may also present challenges for individuals with inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. These chronic conditions cause inflammation in the digestive tract, and during flare-ups, high-fiber foods can be difficult to digest, worsening symptoms such as diarrhea, abdominal pain, and cramping. Additionally, the high fat content in walnuts could potentially increase intestinal inflammation and discomfort. People who have undergone bowel surgery should be especially cautious about consuming walnuts to avoid blockages or strictures. It's wise to consult with a gastroenterologist about nut consumption based on the state and location of your digestive condition. While walnuts can be beneficial for some, their combination of fiber, fat, and particle shape may be too taxing for the digestive system during active flare-ups of conditions like diverticulitis and IBS. Moving on to fats, this brings us to the next topic how the calorie density of walnuts could impact weight loss goals and present challenges for managing obesity. 2. People working on weight management. While walnuts are highly nutritious, their high calorie and fat content means they should be consumed in moderation, especially for those aiming to lose weight or manage obesity. A small handful of these nuts delivers a dense calorie load that could hinder weight loss progress. With obesity affecting over 42% of U.S. adults, finding foods that are both satisfying and calorie-controlled is essential for long-term weight management. At nearly 200 calories per ounce, walnuts are among the most calorie-dense nuts and plant-based foods. A single one-ounce serving, about 14 halves, contains 185 calories, 18 grams of fat, and 4 grams of carbs. Although the fats are primarily healthy unsaturated types, the calories can quickly add up if portions are not controlled. For instance, eating just a quarter cup of walnuts, which is about the size of a small snack pack, would account for nearly 25% of the daily calorie intake recommended for weight loss. Walnuts can be particularly easy to overeat due to their dense, compact nature. An experimental study even found that walnuts did not increase feelings of fullness compared to fats from other dietary sources. However, walnuts don't have to be completely avoided for weight loss. Incorporating them strategically, such as in small amounts as a topping or an afternoon snack, can provide a satisfying dose of protein, fiber, and healthy fats. The key is to stick to precise portions, about a small handful, and use shelled walnuts to make portion control easier. 1. People on certain medication. In addition to the health conditions previously discussed, walnuts may need to be limited or avoided due to their potential interactions with certain essential medications. From blood thinners to immunosuppressants, the compounds in walnuts could affect the efficacy of some critical drugs. One significant concern is the high omega-3 alpha-linolenic acid ALA, content in walnuts, which can interact with anticoagulants or antiplatelet medications such as warfarin, used to prevent blood clots and strokes. For this reason, individuals on blood thinners should avoid or strictly limit walnuts and other ALA-rich foods like flax seeds to prevent potentially dangerous interactions. Additionally, Walnuts might reduce the effectiveness of certain immunosuppressive drugs prescribed to prevent organ transplant rejection or treat autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis. The high omega-3 and antioxidant content in walnuts could potentially counteract the immune-suppressing effects of these medications. 
If you are on any prescription medications, it's important to discuss potential food drug interactions with your doctor or pharmacist. They can assess your specific situation and medication regimen to determine whether you need to significantly limit or avoid walnuts due to their potent nutrient profile. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.